UAP Season 80 Finals, pitting the two-time defending champion DLSU Lady Spikers and FEU Lady Tamaraus may seem like a reboot of an old historic rivalry compared to the five-sequel version of the Lasal Ateneo matchup in the past six years. Both teams previously faced each other in UAP Season 71 when Lasal lost Game 1 before taking the next two games in four sets to win their fifth UAP championship. However, history shows that it is the Lady Tamaraus who have the upper hand against a coach Ramil Desu's mentored squad in the finals as DLSU played bridesmaids to several FEU teams. As a league pioneer, FEU has three times the number of championships of LaSalle with 30, but this current batch of Lady Tamaraus does not have the finals nor the championship experience of the Lady Spiders. Aside from playing in their 10th straight UAP championship and wanting to give coach Ramil his third repeat, the team dedicated this final series to their three graduating teammates. They are motivated to give them their fairy tale UAP ending on top of extending DLSU's mastery of modern collegiate volleyball. Second referee, Bobby Celso, national referee. Here now are the starters. First for the squad in their 10th straight finals appearance. Here are the Telesal Lady Spikers. Number two, Desiree Chen. Number six, Michelle Khan. Team captain number 10, Machoy Baron. Number 11, Kim Kiana D. Number 13, Aduke Odonsanya. Number 15, Tin Tiamzon. Here, Libero number five, Don McCantini. And the head coach of the Lady Spikers, Romel De Jesus. And now, here are the hosts in the finals for the first time since season 71, the FEU Lady Tamaraz. Team captain number two, Bernadette Ball. Number four, Heather Guido. Number ten, Chin Chin Basas. Number twelve, Kyle Negrito. Number thirteen, Seth Domingo. Number eighteen, Ned Villarreal. Your starting libero, number eleven, Kyla Atienza. And the head coach of the Lady Tamaraus, George Pasqua. It's game one, the finals. De La Salle University Lady Spikers, uh, two players, double digits for them in that win against National University. Kim D and Tin Tiam Zon, 17 and 11, respectively. In the meantime, for the Far Eastern University Lady Tamaraus, it's also the same starting lineup. Two players also in double digits. Chit Pasa 17 and Bernadette Pons with 17 as well. The confidence of these Lady Tamaraus have never been higher, Coach Ronnie. But, I mean, it's a tough matchup for them. A team that has been in the finals in the last nine seasons, 10 including today. And obviously, they are very well experienced in this kind of pressure. Talk about the championship pedigree of the De La Salle Lady Archers versus the hunger of the winning school in UAP history, right? And that is going to be one of the narratives surrounding this marquee matchup. And of course, uh, perhaps the next big story there is for the first time in history ng ating dalawang coaches, they will face each other in the UAP men's title battle after steering FEU to a championship in season 54. As teammates. teammates. That's right. Nakong saan, outside spiker, si Coach Ramil De Jesus, the graduating player in season 54. Samantalang si Coach George Pasco naman ay isang first-year player na middle blocker for the FU Tamaraos, of course, under the legendary Kit Santos. One-all is the score in the first two points of the first set. 
Negrito, great set, but one of the best blocking teams, according to Chano Soriano, uh, with a point off the block there as we said at courtside, introduce a third member of our panel, Eileen Shee. Eric and Ronnie getting into the finals is nothing new for the Lady Spigers dahil para sa kanila, this finals ticket is a product of their hard work and training. They're entering today's championship series with a better win-loss record compared to last season. Pero according to Coach Emil, this does not make them more confident. Rather, he believes that this, the team already has confidence in Nate regardless of the circumstance. Now for today's game, he believes Pabilisan Mawala ng Kaba will be the name of the game. Kaya inaasahan niya si Team Captain Majoy Barod, Kiana D, and Don Makandili to give their 100% and lead the team dahil last na nga daw nila. In addition, he is also eyeing opposite Spikers, Desiree Cheng, and Tintin Tiamzon to step up and support the first three. Now this may only be the start of the series, but it is definite that we are up for an exciting match ahead. Eric and Ronnie. Alright, thank you, Eileen. Very jittery start for both teams uh, with Errors and uh, points off attacks as well. Desiree Cheng, last year's finals MVP, right? Bumawi. One out of, one out of two so far Cheng. for season 79's uh, finals MVP. Of course, the reigning MVP is uh, MJB or Majoy Baron, who scored her first point off that offensive block. One point lead for De La Salle, make that a two point lead. That's the best serving team. Nails, its first service ace. As Panay Mercado and Cha Cruz. Two former players of Coach Emil de Jesus who have won championships for De La Salle. Cheers on. The LSU with 10 championships all in all. Six of those coming in the last 10 and trips. Years, so 60%. Yep. Winning rate in the last decade. Total of 144 aces heading into the finals. Another Second, field block, block for Majoy Baron. 3.8 for the Lady Archers. Second best blocking team in the women's division. Uh, DLSU, and meantime FEU with 29 championships. Coach right. Ronnie, the winningest uh, women's division before Coach Ramil de Jesus uh, stopped the juggernaut and eventually put La Salle right in the landscape as the winningest school in the last 10 years. Meantime, if you're wondering what the second uh, winningest team is, USD with 16 championships all in all. What a great dig by Don Macandili. Negrito to Basas. That's going to be a setting error on the part of Negrito. Let's send it uh, to the fourth and last member of our panel from FAU, Sidney Crespo. Eric and Ronnie, the team that was hot and cold in the start of the season is the same team that is so eager now to get the UAAB crown from the defending champions, and that is the FU Lady Tamaraus. After all the preseason hype and the adjustment period with the new head coach, the Lady Tamaraus are able to set their foot back again on the final stage after nine long years. One of the many people to give credit to that is the first-year women's head coach, Coach George Pasqua. Even though Coach George has several titles under his belt, it's no question that this women's league definitely challenged his capabilities as a mentor and as a father figure to the team. Unnecessary errors, leadership delegations, and swag on court were a few of the challenges faced by the Lady Towns, but they all survived those because of their sharp mindset and bravery. Coach George believes decision-making and bravery are more important now than experiences. FEU may have been quiet since the Rachel Ann Damis fingers crossed moment back in season 71, but today they will show hashtag no mercy FEU to add another one to their historic 29 crowds. What about you? Eric and Ronnie, what's your memory about the Season 71 Finals? <laughs> well, thank you, Sid. Simple lang yan. I remember it was the first year of Mel Going and that Malina Santos won the MVP in that year. And of course, April Lose and Maika Morada were still playing for FEU for undercoach Nes Pamilar. And Lasal with a five-point lead here in the first set, 8-3 against FEU. And we all know Bernadette Bonds is the leader of the FEU Lady Tamaraus, but they wouldn't be where they are now if not for uh, Chin Basas, a great player who's really stepped up big here in Season 80. Correct. From Tacloban City, this utility spiker is the best threat when you talk about FEU's first line of offense. A serve specialist was number three in aces, who averages close to 12 points per game, scoring 164 points in 14 matches and nailing 32 aces. Heading to the finals. And right on cue, Basas attacks, and scores for the Lady Tamaraus, who have committed a few errors, reception errors earlier, Coach Ronnie. Very uncharacteristic for a team that's number two in terms of reception and digging. Well, you have to have that mental fortitude in this type of a situation. And remember, all of these players are first timers yeah. in the UAP finals. 
But you go back to the Premier Volleyball League in the Collegiate Conference. Coach George Pass was first in with FU, was enabling this team to go all the way to the finals. Kaya lang hindi sila nanalo laban sa Ateneo. Pero magandang simula. And they're back in the finals once again. Dito sa unang taon ni Coach George Pasqua. And speaking of the coaching staff of FAU, you've got to love the cooperation between the men's and women's division. Yes, assisting, synergy, right? Oh, my synergy. Assisting uh, Coach George Pasqua is the men's uh, head and assistant coach, um, Ray Diaz and Denison Orcullo. I mean, they're all in assisting the women's uh, bid to uh, win back their uh, another championship to add to that 29 already. Take a look at. Heather Gino, and there seems to be a oh. check And I think Heather Gino had a case in point in that last tip. Kaya naman pala pagpalo niya, maski na mahaba, talon siya ng talon because she was very confident that there was a check on that last tip. But the call was given to De La Salle, and now La Salle will be up by the biggest cushion, a 6-point lead at 10-4 here in the first set. Jerry Malabana checking in for Chip Passas. A veteran player. Veteran player, definitely. And played also. in the V-League and likewise in the Premier Valuable League. Jel Cayuna also coming in for Akai Tegrito as Malabana immediately makes her uh, presence felt here. Uh, scores for FEU. Our referees, by the way, first referee Jeff Lopez and second referee Bobby Celso. There's Malabana. Well, warm up, warm up for her. Oh, oh. Malabana not in the top 15 scoring, limited score time, but we know what she has in her arsenal. Very capable, very powerful. Now a part of the first set rotation, first set rotation of course, George Pasqua. Jumps on, attacks once again. There is Cayuda with a reception. Gino. Blocked at the net, but there's a net violation. Gonna be on Michelle Cobb. Earlier, Lasalle's uh, eight points came from three offensive blocks. And at one instance, they were three out of four for 75% blocking accuracy. Right now, they are three out of five, and a few inches closer. They're only behind by four. And this girl, Salid Domingo Coachrani, playing in her third season for FEU. What a great addition. Cayuna, pancake, save is good. What a great addition out of UE, Salim Domingo. At There's... ganong kalaking kawalan para yeah. sa Lady Warriors. For UE, that's right. Villarreal, good save by D. A back row, uh, Tiamzon. Cayuna sets it up for Malabanan. Cross court, great save by D. What a back and forth here. There's a two-point run by FEU. Uh, trying to extend that. Tiamzon with a drop. Cayuna will set it up. Villarreal with a tip. D saves it yet again. Oh wow, what a rally! Domingo to Cayuna. They go to Ginoo. Makantini with a save. Cobb. There's Tiamzon. This is a free ball. Let's see what FEU does. Malabana and tips. Makantini's right there. Doesn't seem to want to end. <laughs> Here's Ginoo from the middle. D attacks. Oh wow. Something's got to give, and the defense oh, no, of De La Salle stands true and takes a point. Take a look at the crowd inside the Araneta Coliseum on their feet. I was not able to count the number of uh, exchanges in that last rally, but definitely that took nearly a minute. <laughs> and if this is a sign of things to come, then we can be sure that we are going to follow the two-hour trend <laughs> in every match that these two, two schools have played each other so far, another five-point lead for LaSalle, fourth offensive block of the first set for the Lady Archers. We're in that points. Second, we'll make that third best receiver in the women's division, Ogun Sanya. Ayla Atienza playing in her final season as libero for FEU. Ogun Sanya! A free ball and she puts it away. Back-to-back -back points for LaSalle. And that forces Coach Pasqua to call on timeout as you take a look at the sea of green inside the big dome. As, as great a job as uh, 
you know, Coach Shaq De Los Santos has done for FEU. Uh, take a look at uh, Coach Rossella checking out the action here. Um, Coach George Pasqua has done a magnificent job, Ryan Santiago in attendance, magnificent job with Lady uh, Tamara was coach in, in his first yes, stint as head coach of the women's division. And I believe that Coach uh, Ramil Desus paid tribute to Coach George Pasqua and underscored the fact that Coach George is a very patient person yeah. and a very able mentor. At alam niya na disciplinarian, alam niya na isang sanga lang ang pinagkunan sa kanila kay Coach Kid Santos. He respects the ability and capacity of Coach George Pasqua, Pasqua to build a winning system. He's done it before for the men's team. He's won yeah. three titles as the coach of FEU from season 67 to season 69. And uh, he was the last architect of the last men's team that won the title for FEU in season 74. May kakayahan, champion player, champion mentor, and uh, alam niya, very able, especially in this type of a battle. Yamzon with a free ball. Kayuna, Pons now in front. Gets rejected there. She will try again. Oops. Overshoots the mark. Is there a check ball? No, nope. that's going to be point for DLSU. Let's take another look. There was indeed a missed call here. Pons was asking for it, but yeah, no touch whatsoever. Pons was 13 of 51 versus FEU in their second round meeting. Against Ateneo, Pons was 15 of 46, close to 33%. Very important for her to be accurate in their attacks in this first match of series. Eighth best scorer in the league is Bernadette Pons. And top gun for FAU. Yep. What a save by Atienza. Unfortunately, Cayuna unable to really measure where the ball was going to land. Another free point for La Salas. They're starting to pull away here. Another timeout called by FAU. Listen in. Lumabas ka, mag-commit ka para makakuha ko ng black air. Once na, wala ka sa timing, hindi tayo makakakuha ng gitna. Laging dalawa yung sa sa outside hitter natin. Ngayon, yung bola, laging ito sa position 1 ng target. Ngayon, huwag natin mga madaliin. Dahan-dahan lang. Hindi natin kailangan madaliin. Ha? One at a time lang. Sagayin ninyo guys, sagayin. Hindi natatapos ang 14 yan. Kapitan nyo lang, iniisayin natin ang ganyang point. Alam ko, naniniwala ako na kaya ninyo kasi iniisayin natin. Magtiwala lang kayo. Ha? Let's go! And there is Abi Marano and of course Ara Galang, former team captain. Abi Marano is a three-time UAAP champion. Earlier we also saw Keep Montalbo in the house. And a bunch of FEU Tamaras, of course there's Hubert Cani. And Del Gompo is right there. Right. And of course, magkakasama yan si Coach Olsen Rosello is the mentor for the men's basketball team of the FEU Tamaras. But right now, Coach Roddy, is this the inexperience of being in the finals of the pressure and all that? You have uh, FEU right now struggling against De La Salle. Well, this is part of the territory in playing in the finals. The level of play that you brought in the first two rounds should definitely be higher. And that is a Gatorade White Lightning fueled spike of the game from Bernadette Bonds, Coach Roddy. Good height coming from Cayuna, taking over the spot of uh, Kyle Negrito. And so far, La Salle was able to defend the early passes of Kyle Negrito and shut down, of course, FEU's offense. Sa kabilang panig naman, the South's blocking has been uh, impeccable. At uh, manakanak ang puntos ni Jerry Malabana na siyang bumutas sa depensa ng Lasal kanina-kanina lamang. That will be out. Over the back line from Desiree Cheng. Luna replacing As This is a mini two-point run for FEU. May Luna checks in for Lasal out of Davao Tagum right. National High School. And we're he we heard during the two timeouts that uh, George, Coach George Pasco was talking to, to his players. Kung anong zone yung tatargetin. Iiwas kay Don Makatuni at ilagay sa uno o sa dos. Two oh, strike yeah. errors for Galasal. Isang attack error at isang defensive breakdown. The lead is down to four. A rare miscue on the part of DLSU. In that Time sequence, down, defense was right there. Makatili with the up. Uh, three players surrounding the ball, unable to get it back up. Here's a timeout by Lasal. We'll listen in. Oh, 
Coach Ramil De Jesus na bahala sa three-point run ng uh, FEU and called the timeout. And this was the MVP in season 71, Manila Santos ng the only jersey number retired by De La Salle. We talk about the sport of volleyball with her daughter in the house lending, lending support to Coach Ramil De Jesus. And this support is big for the current players. I mean, let's remember how FEU, they were boosted by the presence of uh, Rachel Adakis in the last game. Right, right, of course. Ateneo. Talk about Rachel Dakis and Wendy Ansimana, players who were visible in that campaign for FEU. The last title duel with LaSalle, of which LaSalle was able to get the edge. I also saw earlier Panay Mercado, of course, another uh, UAAP champion, na anak ni Lydia De Vega, na naglaro naman para sa FEU sa track and field. That's right. Oh, what a missile fired in by Chin Basas, who just came in. Uh, along with Kyle Negrito, replacing Jeremy Malabana. Another substitution here, Jeanette Villarreal will sit down as you take a look at the attack there by Chin Basa. She really has to get going. Hernandez will check in for FEU. That is following the tactical call of coach George Basca. But it's the zones one and two, zones one and two. Away from the defense of Juan Macandili. Right now, that tactical change has enabled FEU to score better against LaSalle's blocking defense. Four point eight for De La Salle at 15-11. Well, LaSalle snapping that three-point run by FEU. Uh, takes us to our second technical timeout. LaSalle up 16-11 against FEU first set. Let's take a look at the head-to-head -head matchup between these two fighters in Season 80 of the UAAB. De La Salle University Lady Spikers and the Parties University Lady Takaraos. As you can see, in terms of blocks, Number one, Lasan, while FEU is number four. And in other departments, like Aces, both teams are one and two in terms of digs. One and two as well, Lasan, FEU. I mean, their competition is very close to these two teams. And this is the finals. Eric, this is the winning template built by Coach Shamil De Jesus in the many years of taking Lasan all the way to the finals. But if you take a look at the numbers and rankings, this is also the template being followed by Coach George Pasqua. Sa mga skills na number one ng De La Salle, kasunod nila parate ang FEU. And that is the way Coach George Pasqua has been able to take FEU all the way to the finals. Oh, Coach Myers running too much heat for Don Macandili. And again, able to beat the defense of Don Macandili. The tactical call was heated. Able to elude the blockers, able to beat the coverage, and now they are making Don Macandili guess kung saan ilalagay ng mga hitters sa si Pons at Basas. Yung kanila mga palo. Biggest lead was 7 points for DLSU. Now, FEU is within 3. Uh, Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, Eric. The first line of offense is always going to be key. Number 1 dyan, De La Salle. Alam mo kung sino number 2? FEU. FEU. Laging nababanggit ang Lady Archers, pero... Under the radar, they're also really good at this. Ang FEU Tamaraos. Oh, two key defensive lapses for one of the best receivers in uh, this season, Don Makadili. And that, is, that puts FEU just with it, too. We talked about the expertise of Don Makadili. Next to Kat Arado, second best in the competition in terms of reception and digs all throughout the year. Four. It is down to two, kasama ng Eric. That's right. Bernadette points with four points. Yamzon, that's going to be outside. That error oh. makes it a one-point game. 16-15. Earlier, the score stood at 10-4, 6.8 for De La Salle. Since that time, 11 points for FEU, only 6 for La Salle. And the timeout call, timeout called by Coach George Pasqua, talagang nagbunga. At higit sa lahat, his players were able to navigate through the noise to hear and hear this call. Oh, that's a good ball. Makandili, oh, what a save! Here's Pasas, yes! Oh, Tim Pasas drives the game at 16. A very big comeback for FU. Very composed, extremely assertive and aggressive. That's a fudgy bar, oh, bar sa saya moment for Chit Basas as she's starting to come to her own here in game number one. D. Oh. Finds a hole as 
Force unable to chase down the ball. Mitch Cobb was nearly unstoppable in the early goings of the first set. We talk about her setups. Excellent passing rhythm. Multiple points of attack, but right now she has to be better because the yes, recover na si Kyle Negrito at nakatulong din itong si Kayu na kanina nung siya ipinasa. Service error for Majoy Maron, 12th best scorer in the league. And one of the best players when you talk about going to the service line, our reigning MVP, one of the best when talk about service aces for the year. Chin Basas. Getting ready to serve. Six Playing four. in her fourth season, Chinbasa service error there. And LaSalle back up by one, 18 17. FEU heading to this game, 147 aces. Six LaSalle, 144. 2.7 average for De La Salle, 2.4 aces per match for FEU. Neck and neck, na eh? too close. Playing in her final year, Kim D serving. What a serve. Back row attack, points firing one in. What a dig for Cheng. There's Tiamzon sending it back through. Basas saved by D. Gonna be a free ball for FEU. Negrito goes to Domingo. Yes! And Domingo! And look at the reaction of coach George Pasqua. Cautiously optimistic. Full of patience and uh, probably understanding that the recover night of Sikal Negrito, Mahirap ng Batay na kanya mga pasa, activating Celine Domingo and able to once again score against the Salto tie the count of 18 points. That serve just long for close. Domingo, very close. That's oh, right. The third leading scorer for FEO this year was really made a breakthrough performance right. in helping FEO get to the finals. Lasal dodging a bullet, 1.8 restored for the Lady Archers. Four service errors for FEU. Meanwhile, only two service errors for Lasal here in the first set. Off speed from Bons. Michelle Cobb, what a daring move. Oops. Oh! Four players around that ball. Nobody touching it. Three point for Lasal. It could be a critical point here for the Lady Archers. This gives them a two point cushion. On this dump play, scramble mode. And I believe that, that should have been the ball of points. Yeah. She was the one with a good position, squared up to the net. Unless a bullet talaga ng libero para mabuhay, faulty pass from 18 0, three straight points para dito sa Bella Sal, three point lead for the Lady Archers. And these are all mental errors on the part of FEU. Well, Coach George Pasqua gambled on calling his final timeout yeah. early. It paid off, but right now he has to rely on the rest of the Lady Tamarans to stand the tie because Asal is only four points away from bagging the first set. No more timeouts for FEU. Points with an attack error Lasal. once again. All these points, last three points of Lasal, Coach Ronnie, all errors from FEU. It's all about being used to this type of a situation wherein the biggest stake is at hand. And LaSalle right now, once again, on top by a huge cushion, a 4 point lead at 22 against 18. Four unanswered points from 18 all. 22-18 now, Villarreal. Cobb finds Cheng. Atienza, here comes Kino. Block. Negrito underhand set for Bonds, back row. Oh. Gonna fall short. Uh, that's and that's touches. gonna be five straight errors for FEU. And after they tied it at 18, they succumb to five consecutive miscues. And they will be on their heels as LaSalle is only two points away from winning the first set. Good recovery for the Lady Archers. Maturity, championship pedigree, and ability to come out against tight situations. And this is the all the finals experience that LaSalle has. Down the stretch, really paying off here. Chang, what a dig for points. Gino finds that corner for the easy point. Off the block point coming from Heather Gino. Bernadette Pons had a triple-double performance in that win versus Ateneo, meaning she did some heavy lifting for FEU just to make sure that they had a one-and-done campaign versus Ateneo. Very dangerous goal. Kaya naman natin ang takayaan ng Ateneo makabalik at dumikit at manalo. Over-received. Oops. 
And that's Ogusanya throwing the point away. Back-to-back -back points for FEU. Still alive. FEU fighting back, showing big fighting hearts. And a timeout here by Coach Ramil De Jesus will listen in to the Lady Spikers. numbers we talk about the error count six errors for LaSalle FE already with 12 12 of LaSalle's 23 points coming from three points given by FEU FEU is averaging close to 40 errors versus LaSalle in 10 sets the last two matches dating back to their first round encounter Cobb underhand set for Cheng off speed points down the middle Great placing for Tiamzo. Oh, oh, that's going to be way Straight too low. Kim D. Oh, rare miscue for her. Well, I thought she lost her Every vision on that ball. And probably she took a peek on Sanya Ilalaga yung palo niya. And that was clearly seen on that miss hit. He down to two after a five point run earlier. And now this is a three point counter run by FPU to narrow the gap to only a couple of points. Just when everybody oh, left and forgets, FEU bounces back, but then gives away a point to put LaSalle at set point here yeah. in the first. Error number 13. They had 46 errors in their first round encounter and then came up with 35 more in the round two. Wow. That's a total of 81. That's something they really need to address. They only have Two chances here in the finals. This is the best of three points with a push. Cobb will set it up. Finds Cheng. Lady Damarao's need to be perfect. Bons. Saga in the court with the first ball. Another drop from Cheng. Bons in the middle. Saga with the up. Oops. That's not going to make it. Over Sanya and Cheng. And Kali Tuhan. And again, a mini two-point run by FEU, Coach right. Ronnie. Keeps them in the hunt. They're still alive. One set point saved by FEU. It's all about composure. It's all about keeping your mind on the next point and keeping your focus in the task at hand. Kyle Negrito, good serve. Cobb, there's Majoy Paron. Doremdes. Here's Pasa, firing what in, Chip Bacas narrows the gap. It's just another one-point game. Stellar sequence for Negrito once again. Look at the back set. Pinabuka yung blockers, isolating Chin Chin Basas. Four-point run, FBU lead down to one, trying to erase the last of four set points na hawak ng De La Salle. Cobb, who does she go to? Finds Baron. Great save by Ginoo. Basas again. Chin Basas ties the game! 24 all! What a recovery by FEU! First time in the finals in season 71, no problem. Down by six in the first set, no problem. Down by four set points, no worries. They're back. We're tied at 24 all in an extended first set. A great composure and by ace. the rookie team in the finals. And Guy Negrito with a service ace puts FEU on top. Set point. From out of nowhere, Coach Roddy. They're down by five. Very persistent. Extremely confident are the Tamaraos. They played perfect. They continue to be, but not that time. Negrito with a service error. Just what the doctor ordered for DLSU. Obviously, Coach George Pasqua did not like that. Imagine this. 14 unforced errors for FEU, yet they were able to erase four set points. At 24-20, AKK, KKD back in the fray. Pasas. 
Here comes Sparks against two blockers. Oh, what a shot and from Berna Ben Sparks. And once again, FEU at set point. One of only five players to score over 200 points. And this is one key reason why she's the top gun of FEU. Not only is she a powerful attacker, but look at the way she reads the defense of Della Salle. Now they have the first set point. Oops. Oh, another service error. Coach Pasco really cannot understand what is going on. They had that's two set points thrown away by FEU. 15 errors for FEU. Tied at 26. 52 points combined already, and we're not yet done in set number one. <laughs> Desiree Cheng. Fourth year out of Hope Christian High School. Last year's finals MVP. Negrito sets it up for Basas. That's her favorite spot. Kim D, cross court. Difficult pass. Once in the middle. Off the tape of the net. Attack error for Bots. Back to set point, La Salle. Two straight points for De La Salle. Erases the first set point of FU, but more than that, restores. Another set point for them. Fifth set point of the first set goes to the Lady Archers. The top player in terms of service aces this year. SRA Cheng with 35 service aces heading to the finals. Ang pangalawa, si Mitch Cup. Ang pangatlo, Chin Chin Basas. Good serve. Oh! You know, from the back row, that's it! Wow! FEU Lady Tamara was going strong. He just able to find a way to manufacture points when they need it. Well, I believe that one thing that uh, FEU has taken away is the defense of Don Makandili. And in the red socket, Don, parang pader binabalik na binabalik kayo. Hindi mabuhay na Don yung bola dahil inilalay yung sa kanya. That zone was the ball was directed to zone six. They're tied at 27. Basas, third ball is going to be a, an easy over. Cobb sets it up for Diamzor! Diamzor back again at set point. Excellent misdirection coming from Cobb. Majoy Moron provided the decoy play. Lockers were divided. Isolation play for the archers. And this will be the sixth set point for Lasalle here in the first set. Negrito back to Basas. Cobb kept that one alive. Easy over from Kim D. Basas again. Basas fires. It's out. And finally, oh, after and the extended first set, set and to the delight of the DLSU fans inside the Araneta Coliseum, the Lady Spikers put it in the bag, 29-27. The extended first set in game one of this best of three finals between La Salle and FEU went the distance, Coach Ronnie, but in favor of the LSU. No problem with FEU's offense. They had to endure that uh, accuracy and efficiency of La Salle's net defense. First time of offense goes in favor of FEU, plus three in terms of service aces. But what jumps on your TV screens is the 17 errors committed by FEU out of the 29 points scored by De La Salle. That's over 50%. And one thing that also hurt FEU in that first set comeback, yung mabagal na simula nila, kung saan they were behind 10-4. That was a set of slip to the hands of the FEU Lady Tamarows after able to post their first set point at 26-25 before once again, pusher, experience, and of course, ability to win the tight points came into play for the De La Salle Green Archers. But regardless of the outcome of the first set, I mean, you have to be impressed with how FEU withstood right, the right. numerous runs with of no more timeouts. Yeah, that's right. Of uh, La Salle and managed to position themselves at set point. Set number two begins inside the Araneta Coliseum, and Kyle Negrito finds that donut in the uh, defense of La Salle for the first point of FEU. The 21 year old playmaker was accounted for 65 points, in the second best scoring center. Just behind Frenem Nas from the University of Perpetual Altas Samolino Campus. 
itong si Kyle Negrito. That's right. Oh, oh. Adam Kapite. Si uh, Negrito. And you have here the 10th best scorer this year. Number 3 in blocks. Number 9 in aces. The MVP of Season 79 and Season 78. Best blocker from Tarlac. Majoy Baron or MJB. Uh, may KKD, may MJB, <laughs> may RJD, si Coach Ramil, or RDJ, Coach Ramil de Jesus. Three points for Majoy Paron. There's a service error for Des Cheng. Chin Chin Basas and Bernadette Pons accounting for 11 points combined. Out of the 17 attack points posted by FBA in the first set, well, for De La Salle. KKD and Desiree Cheng leading the way in scoring for them with six points combined. Reception error for Cheng. Gonna be a free ball for FEU. Basas against a single blocker. Cobb goes to D with a push. Right. And she scores. Give D her fifth point of the game. One of three players graduating this year. Also comes from De La Salsobel. Kasama ni Don Makantini. Ang Linis Pumalo, ang Husay, maglagay ng placement shots. Number 18 scoring, number 6 like percentage. Number 9 in aces, number 9 in blocks is KKD. Let's go courtside and check in with uh, FEU Sydney Crespo. Yes, Eric and Ronnie, inside the dugout, Athletics Director Sir Mark Molina reminded the ladies the true essence of this game. He said, we are here for a volleyball game and not a spectacle. This is also to emphasize how important focus is, especially today. All they have to do is to be consistent on their game plans and discipline themselves amidst the overwhelming crowd. It's not just about experience, but rather it all boils down to confidence. Know this side of the court later, Eric and Ronnie. All right, thank you very much, uh, Sid. Well, Mark Molina just uh, talking about focus and composure and not get distracted. There's almost, you can, can you <laughs> see an even split, Coach Ronnie, Nasal and FU fans inside the big dome? Probably, lamang parin ng green and white, laban sa green and gold in terms of uh, okay. uh, total number of people looting for Nasal versus the people for Lamarau. So, uh, probably as the series goes deeper, Nakita natin natin yung flux from the green and gold community. Couple of great blocks from the <laughs> Another long rally here in set two. Negrito what a goes pass. to what a pass. Domingo back to back points for Domingo. She has three, two here in set number two. Two consecutive points for the pride of Kawaiyan Isabella. 26% of her total output for the year has come from blocks. Number 15 in scoring, the third leading scorer this year for the FU Lady Tamara. Now let's go to the other side and uh, listen yes. in to IDC of DLSU. Eric and Ronnie, in the two times these teams met this season, both games ended in five sets. Kaya naman from the get-go, sinabi na ni Coach Ramin, hindi ito biro at magiging mahirap ito. This, now this was very evident in the first set given both um, Long rallies and intense exchange of attacks. Thus, in response to this situation, team captain Majoy Baron commanded her team at sinabi niya, intimidate natin yung playmakers para maipagpatuloy natin ito. Your thoughts, Eric and Ronnie? Thank you, Irene. Well, intimidation would gotta be key <laughs> for a team that has experience 10 straight times in the finals, including this season. All right, take a look at MBU. What a great start here in set number two. Coach Ronnie, what an intimidation for them after losing the first set. Uh, whatever jitters they faced, in committing 17 unforced errors has been erased. Yeah. And right now, believing in themselves is going to be critical for their campaign against La Salle. A merciless, methodical unit who seems to thrive in getting their opponents to lose their spirit and commit too many mistakes. Four point lead so far for FU, biggest so far of the second set, but they commit a service error as coach George Pasco attempts to calm them down, breathe. Steady pulse. Yung sabi nga kanina ni Coach George Pasqua to slow it down. Nagbamadali tayo in the first set. Kasi hindi ka makakahinga ng maayos and you will get rattled if you are not able to control your breathing. Mahirap pag masyado kang jumpy o jittery. Oo. Oh, you know, block. block. And return to sender. Good oh, read. Blockers read the pass. LaSalle started out this match scoring three of their first six points coming from offensive blocks. Right now, they're trying to attempt to come back and chase a four-point deficit that they have trimmed to two. Now, two straight points, Kinomarito ng De La Salle. Cobb with a great block on Heather Gino. The last play, Basas has an easy over. Yamzon, another 
Easy ball for FEU. Yeah, that was oh, a broken what a play. By Domingo. That's going to be point number four for her. And Coach Ramil De Azu is saying, Parang lifting because she, I think they're complaining she may have fought the ball. Parang slam dunk lumabas, eh, no? Gigil na gigil. What about that one leg pass coming from Kyle Negrito? Slowly but surely, the confidence is building. Para dito kay Kyle Negrito, 21 year old ace playmaker of FAU. Oh, what a play by Cobb. A block earlier and a one two play here. Hitchcock. Very hard to transition under the shadow of Team Fajardo. Yeah. And right now, she has really definitely stepped up to the plate. Number 41 in scoring, third best scoring setter of the year with a total of 53 points scored. And she is also one of the best servers throughout the year. But a great dig from Kim Zon. Back row attack is too low for Kim T. And FEU takes us to our first technical timeout there, up by three against the defending champion, set number two. Playing in her final season out of Baguio National High School, Majoy Baron did not hit double digits against National University, but she didn't have to. Two key players uh, in double digits, Kim D and Tint Yabzon 17-11, and they took out NU in three straight sets. Yeah, well, the most important thing is that they were able to bring down the efficiency level of Jaja Santiago. Season 78, best blocker, second leading scorer for De La Salle. But uh, one thing is important, she's steady, she's a winner, and she wants to leave the school with another title to secure the third Grand Slam for De La Salle. Two of them in this decade alone. Right. For right. La Salle as uh, Duque Ogutsanya connecting with Mitch Cobb. Nice quick play set up by Cobb for Duque Ogutsanya. Cobb has also brought in a lot of confidence heading yeah. into the year. There were several humps, a lot of challenges that stared her throughout the season, but she has come out on top amidst all of those many humps that and she has faced. And only in her second year. Right. For La Sala, spawns with an attack error there. 17 unforced errors for FAU in the 27 points, 29 points scored by De La Salle. They had to keep that to a minimum, and now La Salle is only Behind by one here in set number two. Out of Iloilo, Duque Ogunsanya. Right, alam mo maganda kay Majoy Baron. Eric, she always comes out playing well against FEU. Yeah. Yeah. She has scored 36 points in the first two encounters versus the Lady Archers, or rather uh, the Lady Tamaraus. Currently, Baron with three points. Ogunsanya also with three. This is the last point of Ogunsanya, an ace. And now we're tied at eight. Set number two, in case you're just joining us in the Vietnam Cup one, we're watching game number one of his best of three finals. Oh, nice division. play off the block point Sorry, coming from Zakarandang. Zakarandang was a breakout player for FEU in their last Premier Volleyball right. League campaign last year. It's a collegiate conference. She lost her spot in the rotation. Pero kanina, ginamit coach George Pasco, bigla si Jerry Malabana. Ngayon naman, si Zakarandang, she needs height. But they, he needs height. He needs to off-balance itong game plan ng De La Salle. Karanda, a returning after not playing Sorry last man, season. Karanda. And uh, she picks up her game from Remy Palma, of course, yeah. bringing the swag and uh, the extreme show of confidence. Remember that all of you almost had a chance to parade Rosemary Vargas, who was not able to suit up this year because of an ACL injury prior to the opening of Season 80. Imagine what could have been the front line for FAU kung nakapagnaro pa si Rosemary Vargas this season. Karandang off the bench, back-to-back -back points. Luna coming off the bench as well for uh, DLSU. Here's a free ball for the Lady Spikers. Luna will attack off speed. Negrito sets it up for points. Oh, great block by Baron. Oh, Majoy Baron doing it defensively this time. And very calmly. Reading that pass by Negrito. Kung saan saan nila pinapapalo itong si Pons para hindi mabantayan. But you're up against a one-time best blocker who is still one of the best this season. Talking about MJB Majoy Baron. And the reigning MVP as well. Oh, nice play. Also, in Karandang, Karandang 
three points off the bench, all scored here in set number two. And that is the best way to beat a very good defender at the net. Look at this pass coming from Negrito. Low and quick. And the three blockers were able to close that wall. Still a two-point hit for FEU. Oh, what a great insertion for uh, Coach Pasco. It's all about trusting your players, Kasama. And it's also about giving them a chance to play. Maski manakana ka sa elimination round. And of course, they had ample time to prepare for the finals dito sa game one. Combination play, Majo Ibaron scores, activating the middle hitter. Yan ang ginagawa naman dito nitong si Mitch Cobb. Five points for Baron. Three scored here in set number two. I stand corrected, Eric. 34 points combined in the first two matches for Majo Ibaron versus FEU. Diaz oh, nice. And block. Uh, but they still mm -hmm. get the point. Another good hide by Cobb, this time for KKD. Res reception error on right. the part of Kyle Negrito. KKD has led the team in scoring against FEU. Two in a row. Top scorer for LaSalle this year. Also from De La Salle Sobel, KKD. Luna. Negrito sets it up for Basas. Makandili was right there. Yamzon. Bonds. And a block. Wow. Inabot pa yun, Ibaron. Bar, uh, Karandang is uh, rejected. Pasas rejected as well. Great defense by DLSU on both ends. And Lasal is now ahead. Majo Ibaron doing what she does best. Shut down. Shutting down the offense of the opponent. And right now, she has the number of points. And of course, Karandang, who scored three points earlier, was also blocked by Majo Ibaron. Lead. Now with LaSalle, a one-point cushion. Now it's not so much the errors of FEU, Coach Ronnie, but this one is. But more of the defense of LaSalle is really stepping up. A block on Karantam, block on Pasas. There's an error here and a timeout by Coach Pasqua. His team down by two. Guys, what happens this game? Okay, Spiker, sige kayo ng bola para matulungan natin si Setter. Kasi kung di tayo mo sasalita, hindi na tayo mga recognize. It's a matter of communication lang yan. Kung walang communication, guys, wala tayong teamwork. So we need teamwork. Okay? Hindi biro itong laban natin. Okay? So recoup tayo ulit. Avoid mga unforced errors. Pabayaan silang pumutas pag hirapan nilang pero huwag tayo magbigay. Nangyari na, gawa na ito ng parahan. Let's go! Laban lang, laban! I have you! Well, George Pasqua does not want this lead to get bigger for La Salle. Bang Pineda on your screens, former Adamson Lady Falcon, who was the last opponent of FEU when they won the championship in season right, 70. Right, right. the third May Luna. Of course, uh, we also saw earlier the former courtside reporter for FEU, Sikhan. Negrito sets it up for Basas. What a save from Cobb. Yamzon above the block. Karandang with the up. Once, wow, she gets it across. I was too close to the net already. But Joy Baron, that's going to be point number six for her. Look at the reaction of Coach George Pasqua. He just called timeout, and then they were disjointed in their offense. And Lasal has that ability to pounce on every opportunity you had over to them. Of course, kanina, si Ganyal Krishnan yung ating nakita. Hindi na ako sanay tawagin Ganyal si Gan, eh. <laughs> Oh, oh Karandang. Wow. Karandang. Karandang. Nice. Karandang, really. Giving them a huge lift here in set number two off the bench, Coach Ronnie. Karandang scored 11 points versus Lasal last Great. March 18. In their first round encounter, Karandang did not see action. Playing in her fourth year for the Lady Tamaraus, Tiamzon. There's the uh, kick from Heather Gino and Bonds will score for FEU. That's point number seven for her. Nice adjustment coming from Coach George Pasqua. Tignan mo kung siya niya pinapapalo ngayon itong si Bernadette Bonds. Yeah, well, Coach Pasqua is putting her everywhere. JRS Express play of the game. Bonds, that's going to be point number eight for her. Walang sa opposite at open pinapapalo pati sa gitna. Three straight points for FEU and the reaction of Coach Emil Jesus. Napakamot sa mukha. Still trying to be patient, still trying to be calm. That last error of LaSalle ties the game for FEU at 14 all. Karandang still serving for the Lady Tams. Negrito. There's Domingo. That's going to be out. And again, the quick sets of FEU. This time around, LaSalle will dodge a bullet. 
uh, Celine Domingo overcooks. Five points so far for the former Lady Warrior, who is now a Lady Tamara and is in the finals. Masas, oh, another block That's by Lidia Mdon this time of the Lady Spikers. Payong na payong. And it's a two-point lead for La Salle over FEU in our second technical timeout. Well, Coach Ronnie, as much as we've talked about the prowess of the Lady Spikers in terms of blocking, the number one blocker in the women's division happens to be Celine Domingo of FEU. 11.1 points per game, 156 points scored this year, 41 kill blocks this year, number one in blocking, just turned 19 last week, a third leading scorer for FEU this year. Scored eight points versus Ateneo and so far has accounted for five points versus Lasal in today's game one. I mean, to show you how good in terms of blocking uh, Domingo is, as you see, that misconnection between Atienza, or sorry, Kyle Negrito and uh, Domingo. Domingo has more blocks per set than Jaja Santiago. Right. Well, to be fair to Jaja, sa konti nung nilaro nila ng mga sets nung sa second round, hindi lamang yung total scoring output niya, kundi lahat ng mga numero niya bumaba ng bumaba compared to their first round number wherein they were at 6-1. and one. And right now, this is a major turnaround for De La Salle. They were down by as much as four. La Salle was, or FAU, was able to recover, able to build a blistering start. But now, La Salle is four points ahead at 18-14. And this is all through the blocking at the defense. Net. Oh, by the Lady Spikers. Ogunsanya, great save. Luna from the back row. At alam mo, Eric, this allowing FAU from once again hitting the 17-point mark. We talk about their attack numbers. What FAU stops the bleeding. Scoring a crucial point lead is at three for De La Salle. It's been a lot of Domingo and Carandang for FEU. Right. Here in this second set. Papuga buga itong si Bernadette points na tinatago sa kitna. Coach George Pasco and right now in the rotation. Points will be at the back. Basas, Domingo will be at the front. That's going to be out for Tiam Zon. Tiam Zon. Two straight points for FEU. But just like in the first set, Coach Ronnie, FEU again. Try to come back from behind against the defending champions. Ang tayo dito, Rick, dito lamang sila sa umpisa. Sa unang set, humabol lang sila at lumamang sa bandang dulo. Ngayon lamang sila, hinabol sila. Sila naman ang pilit. Nagahabol. Oh, Kim D. Smart play. Off the block. Seven points for D. AKD. May not have uh, won individual awards in the last few years. But in high school, she was the best blocker. And also a Palarong Pampansa standout. Last year, she was one of the best scorers for De La Salle as well. And this year, she is top gun for De La Salle. Finals uh, MVP in Season 78, Kim D. Harris, Domingo. Nakalimutan kong banggitin yun para kay KKD. Yeah. Ang favorite player is a standout from uh, South Korea, si KKK. <laughs> na nakalaro niya, no? Yeah. Nakalaro ng, uh, sorry, ng Team Pilipinas. Si Kim Yun Kong, of course. That's what right. we're talking, that's who we're talking about. Who we are referring to. Point lead for De La Salle. Ooh. Take that three. Mm -hmm. A service error for Chin Chin Basas. That's gonna be error number 22. So, pang lima. Pang lima in the set. 17 in the first set. We talk about the error count for FEU. Steadiness, ability to stay away from mistakes, especially when you get nearer to the final point of the set. Nice serve. In the game, Kayuna and Balabanan for FEU. No Kyle Ligrito, no Basas, May Luna. Atienza, what a dig. Excellent play by Mitch Cup once again. Good decoy play by Agud Sanya. May Luna able to put that point away for De La Salle. Four point lead for the Archers. Timeout for FEU. Alamin natin kung nasaan yung ano natin, kasama natin. Pagka back row, itataas yun lang kasi yung back line to. Para may set. Hindi natin kailangan madali. One at a time lang guys. Again, 20 above. Diba? Pinapraks yan, 20 above, 15 above. So kaya natin kapitin. Basta... Isipin nyo na lang yung ginagawa natin during training. Hindi kalaban natin na lasal. Ang kalaban natin, sarili natin. Avoid! 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 Go! 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 Sige! Kapit nyo! Back here.
here inside the Araneta Coliseum for game number one of this best of three between the defending champions. De La Salle University Lady Spikers against one of the winningest, if not the winningest, women's team in the UAAB with 29 championships all in all. Far right, East University right. Lady Tamaraus. Well, the first set took 56 points to end <laughs> in a set that took 39 minutes to finish. And Coach Pasqua in the timeout telling the girls avoid the errors. Uh, we're not playing them, we're playing against ourselves. Right. Better itong si Mitch Cup outplaying her counterpart here in the latter part of this set. 5 point eight for De La Salle. This is a comfortable advantage for the Lady Spikers. Let's see. So meron pang uh, second win itong FAU. Remember, they came back three times in uh, the first set. That block going out of bounds. Point FAU. Uh, itong uh, team ng Lasal had a total of four blocks in the first set win. And uh, this was their key instrument. Sa kanilang uh, comeback after being behind by four earlier here in the first set. KJ Saga coming in for the first time here in game one of the series. Taking out KKD. Karandang is also back in the game for FU. So a very tall front line with Jerry, Jerry Malabana. Malabana. Excellent Sanya. reception. Oh, what a dig from Domingo. Luna, that hits the tape of the net. Not over. Two straight points for the Lady Tamaraos. And their DNA jeans is back in action. Talking about FAU. And a timeout here by Ramil De Jesus of De La Salle University. Let's listen in. Okay, si Sina Sina. Pumasa lang tayo. Okay, pasa don, paso don, pasa. Explore tayo. Ikaw duke. Punta mo dito ha. Sa likod ka pumasok ka. Kung hindi dito ka pumasok, o yon. Kaya hindi yan. Kaya lang natin namin play na kung ano. Pagkaya hindi ko masak bigay mo kayo na balik mo rito sa kaya may play three ang iwan mo dos lang ibigay mo kaya may kaya. Situational timeout for Coach Ramil De Jesus. Trying to make sure that this set would not be extended and that they would come out on top. They need one good reception to be able to launch the first line of attack in this rally to get to their first set point, or rather to get to their 23rd point. Luna. <laughs> you know, with a difficult recovery. Oh, oh big break for FEU. They did not have a good attack there, but they still found a way to score a point. Miscommunication between Cobb and Don Makandili. Look at this play. The second ball is the last sa setter. Yan. But Liberos are considered the secondary playmakers as well. We have to talk about the ball. Lang yon. And that uh, exploded on their faces. And right now, the lead is down to two for the archers. Layu comes in for uh, DLSU. There she is, attacking. Defense of oh. FU has been solid Ooh. in the last few plays. So wait a minute, what is the call? An, illegal attack. an overreach. Illegal back row attack, is that it? Well, Kayuna, I think, is a back row player. Correct, Kayuna is a back row player. And I think she sent it across, so she can't do that. Critical miscue para dito sa FPU. Lasal only one point away from their first set point of this set, of this uh, set number two, rather. Oh, but nakabawin right away. Malabanan for FPU. Point number two for Jerry Lee Malabanan. Uh, this is a very experienced player. They have been under the radar this year because oh, yeah. of limited playing time, but she is a PBL champion as well. Right. Commercial experience in the yes, 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 yes. Collegiately, she, she knows how to play. Especially in this type of a situation. Layu. Oh, they go back to her. What a save there from Saga. Here's Luna. Kayuna back set to oh. Malabana. And short. Luna will attack. That's just on the line, and the foul. Back at set point, 24-21. When you get the chance to put that ball away, you have to be able to get 
that point in your pocket because on the counter play, Lasal will make you pay. And that is exactly what CJ Saga made sure of as she was able to set up May Luna and put Lasal ahead by three set points. But FU has been big. They've been in this position in the first set. 24-20 ngayon kanina, Ricky. Let's see. Oh, oh my. That's right on the line for Mitch Tom. One of the best young servers in the women's division. And she put Masal on top. Two sets to nothing against FEU. Uh, take a look at the crowd celebrating inside the Araneta Coliseum. And for the very first time, we are kicking off the biggest UAAP Women's Volleyball Season 80 game with a final celebration brought to you by H&M. And it starts now. <laughs> All right, y'all, everybody stand up. We're gonna dance. Make some noise for you peeps. Here we go, y'all. Yeah. Come on, y'all, we need everybody to get up and dance right now. We want to see you shake it like you mean it. Yo, you peeps, go. Yeah. Come on, Renata, shake it. just uh, coming back with us oh, yeah, is up two cents to nothing against FEU. All right, we'll get to the numbers in just a little bit, but Coach Roddy, your, your initial thoughts on how set number two went with FEU starting off pretty well as compared to how they started in set number one. Well, I thought that uh, LaSalle's uh, defense overpowered FEU's offense. Eventually, FEU still had three more attack points than LaSalle. But imagine this, five kill blocks for LaSalle in that set. And that definitely deflated yung excellence nila Bernadette Pons, yung tulong ni Karandang, yung litaw ni Celine Domingo, yung ambag nitong si Jerry Malabanan. And in the end, it once again, it boiled down to the steady play of Mitch Cubs at, at yung kanyang uh, kakayahan na ilabas yung offense ng Lasal pag kinakailangan. No KKT, no MJ Baron in the last part of the set para dito sa Lasal. Yet they were still able to hurdle yung last five back ng uh, FEU dun sa dulo ng ating second set. Well, the first points of both teams here in set number three coming off each other's errors. One from Karandang, one from Kim D as we check in with Eileen Shi of DLSU. Eric and Ronnie, if there's anything the ladies 
Tigers are known for it is their winning culture. Kaya naman, given the slow start during the second set, tinanong ni Coach Rio sa Lady Spikers, nasaan na ang tapak nyo? He then reiterated to the Lady Spikers na hindi lahat nakaka-finals. Kaya when you get the opportunity to go to the finals, you better grab that opportunity. He then adds, masyado tayong relax, kaya hirap tayo. Thus, with this, expect the Lady Spikers to give it their all as they go for their 10-game winning streak in their 10th finals appearance today. Eric and Ronnie. Oy. All right, thank 10 you for much. 10. That's right. For 11. And I, I love Coach Ronnie how uh, nice Ronnie report. Jesus yes. uh, looks to motivate a team that's always been in the finals. Oh, I mean, his speech says yeah, how, many, how many people reach the finals. I mean, this is a team that has reached the finals in the last 10 seasons. I've read, read a lot of articles about these two coaches in the last two weeks. And they are master motivators who are true to their word. Yeah. When they say it, they mean it. It's because they earned it. They fought for it. And they have been champion mentors, not just as players, but as coaches as well. Combined numbers in terms of scoring, 16 for Pons and Domingo, while Baron and KKD with a total of 13. Uh, check ball, point for Chin Basas. Basas is going to be six points in the game as we check in this time with the Lady Tamarau's Sydney Crespo. Yes, Eric and Ronnie, isa sa palaging paalala ni Coach George sa Lady Tams na magkaroon ng initiative in terms of leadership on the court. Ito rin ay para maiwasang umasa kay Team Captain Bernadette Pons. According to Coach George, everyone has become a leader so far. He, ins he, he instructs the ladies not to doubt their game and that starts on the service line. Sabi nga niya, hindi na nanalo ang team ng dalawang sets lang. May laban kayo sa lasal, kailangan nyo lang ayusin ang inyong adjustment at timing. Your thoughts, Eric and Ronnie? Thank you, Sydney. Well, these these girls would not be here if not for the kind of leadership they showed right throughout 13 games in the elimination and round. You, and you have to believe uh, that report dahil uh, 17 aces, the first line of offense para sa FEU. In the two matches they played, and even in terms of blocking, they have outshone De La Salle, meaning they can compete, they can go all the way, but can they win? That is the million dollar question right now, but a good comeback here in this third set once again for FEU to bring them a three-point advantage. Looking for cushion number four. They're behind by two oh, sets. Wow! The last three blocks of FEU have translated into points and all coming from Heather Gino. Wow! And the last to have come against KKD. Four point lead, early timeout for Coach Ramil De Jesus. Andre Karakut. Andre Karakut, uh, former Red Cup and a former uh, Sacred Heart, but St. John's. St. John's. As a standout. Bakolod. Bakolod, right? Bakolod. Oh, oh. Si Kip Montalbo. Alala ko kasi na napili namin yan para magpunta abroad for training. Oo. Oh. Mahusay yan, bata pa lang. And of course, the former Red Cup, si Karakut. Lahat naman ng mga Red Cups, eh. Lahat na. <laughs> Pag alis sa San Beda, Coach Tony. Hello, Ato Badulato. <laughs> Cross court is out for oh, the breakaway continues for FU even after Coach Ramil called ceasefire earlier and he directed and called out Don Makandili earlier to enable uh, Mishka to do her playmaking chores. Allow Mishka a second ball para makaset ng maayos at FU is looking at other things and top of mind for them is to win set number three. You know. Oh who's uh, her own block party. The last three points of FEU. Durendes will set it up for points in the back row. Makandili with the up. Cobb sets it up. Back row attack. Oh, Duna. nice. And Durendes to Gino. That's going to be outside for Heather Gino, who has uh, eight points well, that, here in the third set. She has done a lot. Oh, yeah. Deflated. Lasalle's multiple points of attack. Pwede naman magkamali. Ito, bihirang magkaman eh, kaya yung EP champion. Yeah, former King Archer. The JTs, ikaw nga. The JTs, oh, oh, that's pwede. right. Pwede. Green Choi, uh, Jeron Teng. Basas. Kept alive by Cobb. Easy over for Kim D. 
Nice pass. Guino, nice yes, pass. wow, Guino is playing great here in the third set, Coach Roy. And the Archer is done, Babalik kay Basas, pero tinapos na. And uh, we showed these girls earlier on today, Steph uh, Mercado and Chuck Cruz, former Lady Spikers. H&M celebrate in style here in game one of this best of three finals. That's a four-time UAAP champion, Chuck Cruz, and of course, Manang Mercado. Not only is the daughter of the legendary Ligia yeah, de Vega, fastest woman in Mercado, but more than that, she's also made a big name for herself in the UAAP, in the corporate world as also. well. And she will compete in the Premier Valuable League. That's right. On May 6th, that will be next yeah, Sunday. And Yamzon cuts the biggest lead of FEU, uh, was at five uh, earlier in this Nassan set. Nassan needs to fight back quickly if they want to seal the deal and close the door at FEU's bid to extend this match. And so far, Mitch Cobb and Kyle Negrito, 14 excellent sets for Cobb, 15 for Negrito. And both players with almost 21% success rates. Passing at playmaking that will be long in that back row play for Bernadette Pons. So, two key errors for FEU coming off the uh, technical timeout set three. Uh, now it's just a three point game. Biggest lead was five for the Lady Tabaraus. And again, we share the story that Coach George Pasco and Coach Amir Desus played together yeah. in season 54 and won a title for the FEU Tabaraus. The outside spiker, Coach Ramil Desus, and the middle blocker, Coach George Pasqua. First year player, Coach George Pasqua, the final year player, Coach Emil de Jesus. Wow, just relentless in their attack. FEU from offense to defense. And of course, that will be Diana Tots Carlos in the house. And here is this transition play by FEU. Two straight sets, they had the upper hand. We talk about attack points, but they can translate that into a, a set that they win against LaSalle. More pointing for FEU. Oh, Karandang did not expect that to be sent to her. Here's uh, Tintiam Zon outside. Is there a check ball? Check ball. Yep. Tintiam Zon. Eyes were wide open, waiting for the call to be made. She was very sure that there was contact. And right now, yeah. Lasal breathing down the necks of the FEU Lady Tamaraus. Neck she of the Lady Tamaraus stayed down to three. And she was right. Based on the replay, there was a Tiny little touch enough for the call to go to LaSalle. Three point game. Oh, Karandang. Very and powerful hitter. And Luna will score off the block. Luna with her third point in the game. And now it's a two point lead for FEU. And this is not just a situational sub, this is a substitution that has extended all the way to the third set. Talking about Coach Emil de Jesus and the uh, Luna's delivered. Lead down to two for FEU. Biggest lead was five. Oh, okay. Ogunsanya is hit. And Luna hey, back to back points for her. She's Coach George, alive. Coach George calling for an overreach or overreaching call. But I thought that Karandang had chances to put that ball away. Instead, May Luna with a counter play. And that ball will clip the line. Be down to one, May Luna. She had the last two points. No so worries for May Luna. The LSU, four points all in all for Luna. Oh, back row play. Ooh, Ooh. that's going to be short for points. So reminiscent of that second set uh, miss hit coming from points nine. Kinapos, one of four straight errors right. that hurt their chances to steal that set away. Now the four point lead is gone. We're tied at nine. Timeout for coach George Pasqua. Kailangan ka, John. Kailangan ka. Okay? Guys, ang pinupunto sila, hindi galing sa kanila. Ang pinupunto sila, galing sa atin. Avoid, avoid. Please, disiplina. Follow instruction lang. Okay? Commit, middle commit, para makapag-combination attack tayo. Pons, ang target, cross. Diagonal, one, at saka five. Yung tip natin, huwag dito siyong makandili, dun pa rin. Ha? Okay, let's go! Ano yan? Ano yan yun, guys? Ano yun? Well, the lead was biggest at five points for Lima, FEU. Lima inabot. And it's gone now. Well, they led because of their defense as well earlier. As uh, binanggit mo kanina, yung dami ng 
offensive blocks nila. Younger sister of uh, Bernadette Bons in attendance here at the Araneta. Gorado, the one to Asha para sa ate niya. Yep. Bernadette Bons out of uh, Negros Occidental. Tama, tama. From Rafael Laxon National yeah. High School. High School, that's right. Pasas. What a dig from D. Pop. Oh, go back to Luna. She's ha had the hot hand. Oh, yes. You know. Yes. Excellent Heather counter play Gino. coming from Gino. And Heather Gino with a Gatorade White Lightning Fueled Spike of the game. Uh, Gino now with 11 points. She's had a stellar third set for FEU. Gino in the second round or the first round at a total of six points in round two. Gino only one point. 28 yes. errors for FEU. Lasal with 14. FEU is averaging 40 errors versus the Lady Archers in the first two matches that they played. Dame, no? All right. Now, Ginoo with 12 points after that ace. She serves again. The lead is back to two for the Lady Damaraus. Here's an over receive. Bons almost with a put away. Luna. Here's Bons on the attack. Bons. That's dug up by Diamzon. B from the back row. It's an easy over. Negrito with the tip. Again, Diamzon with a dig. D, another free ball. Like deja vu for FEU. Makandili. Cobb sends it to Luna. Ah, rejected at the net. Ogunsanya picked up by Duremdes. Spawns will attack. Another long rally. Luna. Into the net, and yeah. FEU this time with the upper hand. Three straight points for FEU after the timeout was called by coach George Pasqua. Keeping their nose ahead of the Lady Archers and staying in the driver's seat. Now Gonzaga will come out in favor of uh, Ipak, who also had one uh, outstanding match coming off the bench right. in the second round of competition. Three point lead for FEU. Or down by two sets against a team looking for their 11 championship. Kapos na kapos, but she's done damage. Leading scorer currently of FEU, Heather Gino, who has only had seven points in the first two games against La Salle. Titing na natin for the season ng naiyak bag ni Tong si Heather Gino for FEU. Noriel Ipak serving, third year player out of Pangasinan for La Salle. Bons becomes caught back to Luna. And that down the line guarded by Ginoo. Bons again above the blockers. Cobb sets it up for Baron. One two play for Negrito. Negrito will put it away. Hey, you have to be decisive and assertive. You have to play fire with fire. And that is exactly what we're seeing of Kyle Negrito putting energy, trying to restore. The fighting spirit of the Tamaras are behind by two sets. Two points of attack for Kali Negrito. The first one a duck, the second one a spike. Raising their advantage to three points. Negrito also with four points in the game. Four points bring her, brings her scoring total to 69 for the year. What a save for Karantang and Pons. Baron Durandes, what a dig. One hand dig for Buding. Cobb. Baron. Gino was right there. Got him down to Bonds. Bonds is blocked. And yeah. Baron will stare down on Bonds. That's point number seven for Majoy Baron. One time best blocker in the UAAP. A part of the national pool. And ito yung sinasabi ko kanina kasamang Eric. These two teams mimic each other so well. In terms of solidifying their floor defense, their ability in terms of their net defense. Pati sa opensa. At yung discarte. At of course, yung disiplina. Three ball for Lasal. They go back to Luna through the block. Oh, play. Wow. Good misdirection coming from Majoy Baron. And May Luna has been a game changer for De Lasal. She's great at impact upon her entry. And Ipak has also had extended minutes here for the Lady Archers. Pero nagbabalik na si Chamson, KKD. Majoy Baron right now in the front line for the Archers. A uh, service error. A uh, fourth service error for. DLSU, the last one coming from former Saints School High School. Uh -huh. See Mitch Cobb. 
Total of 53 points heading to the finals with 31 service aces fired this year. That's oh. going to be outside for Kim D. Trying to go to zone 5 or zone 6. Trying to go long and deep. Instead, she gives FEU a 3-point advantage. Luna out of Tagum National High School from Davao. A nice pass. Oh, D right Very on the nice line. Very nice pass. Babawe, si Kim D. And Babawe, si Mitch Cobb. Able to elude the blockers and uh, misdirect that pass. Nibring libre. Yung palong yun. Lay down to two for it's FAU. May the Luna. comeback continues for De La Salle. Seven points off the bench for May Luna. You know, they go to Pasas. What a dump. Was that a good save? Yes, it was. Coach Pasqua does not agree. Domingo. Makandili, Cobb, Coach Pasqua continues to argue with second referee Bobby Sielso. <laughs> Part of the game. Bons. Oh, oh wow. My. Miss you on the part of FBU. And Coach George does not agree. Let's see this pancake by Don Makandili. Oh, that's good. Clearly good. Clearly on top of her hand. And the South kept their point on every play. And they will come out on top. And they will score wow. an ace as Luna ties the count. But 15 all. Back Big game by May Luna. Back to back points for the Lady Spikers. Uh, they tie the game at 15. May Luna, two points in their round one face off. May Luna, one point in their second round encounter for the total of three today. Has so already come up with 13. 9 or 10. 13? 13. My goodness. That's Sorry, no. 8 points. 8 points. Make that 9 on the service ace and a 1 point lead for LaSalle as we reach the second technical timeout. LaSalle fans coming alive inside the Arenetta Coliseum as they take the lead away from FBU. Uh, May Luna has been instrumental in this huge run by the Lady Spikers. Show some love for your favorite UAAP team. Official licensed UAAP merchandise now available online at UAAPstore.com. Nine points for Luna and now a one-point lead for the Lady right. Spikers against the Lady Tamaraus. And again, able to recover after FEU once again had the big start. Sir Dino Lorena of ABS-CBN Sports. Uh, We've all been very excited. We were also talking about how great the reception was for uh, uh, PVL Fans Day, Day yesterday, yesterday. Oh. at uh, Trinoma. Well, thank, you. Pat, no? thank you to everybody who came and supported. And we'll see you all May 6. I think that was about four to five hours of uh, non-stop non -stop. interaction non -stop. between the PBL uh, players. And of course, uh, the, the Legion of fans will troop to the activity center of the right. Trinoma Mall. And uh, older sister, the... That's a Ray Cheng. That's Cheng. That's Cheng. That? Didn't she play for College of St. Benilla? The Benilla Blazers. That's right. Pasas? I know I'm sure if she was with the winning uh, team. Team. I'm not sure if she was with Janet Panaga. Kim D. Softened by the blockers of FEU. Here's Pasas again. Makandili will set it up for D. What a fake by D, no? Oh! Three players! Uh -huh. Unable to get the up and for now, FEU. And this is the killer's instinct that we're seeing of the Lady Archers. They smell blood. They're now ahead by three after being behind by as much as five here in set number three. And a timeout here by Coach George Pasqua will listen in to FEU. Gracious of mine. Ano natin iwasan ng error? Anong gagawin? Alam niyo kung ano solusyon? Alam niyo kung ano? Ito lang, simple lang. Akin sa iyo lang. Guys, huwag tayong bibitaw. Huwag tayong bibitaw. Hindi natin kalabas si Lasal. Huwag niyo kalabas yung sarili niyo. Wala tayong hindi kalabas. Patagal pa lang, patagal pa lang. Wala lang, puso lang guys. Labanan ng kanina dito. Gate attendance. A little over 14,000 inside the Araneta Coliseum. At least we know that outside uh, the Escobao area, walang traffic. Paglabas. Paglabas ko kami. Pagkatapos ng game. Sabay-sabay. Not bad for a game one, especially they find that the FEU is back in the finals after nine years. Nine years. Uh, last time they were here in uh, season 71, 2009, yeah, against the same team, against the La Salle. Ama. 
Well, they lost in uh, three games. And Barod continues the streak for DLSU, and they extend the lead to 4-19-15. Two of the three graduating players for LaSalle after this season. Season 79 MVP, season 78 best blocker. Dent, height, timing. Uy, and outside. Meron tagal ni May Luna sa service line, and she's really done damage. That stops a 7-0 run for the Archers. We're behind earlier, but now are ahead. Kanina ng apat ngayon, buwaba sa tatlo. That's five service errors for DLSU. Only five. That's how good they've been in terms of serving. You know, a block outside, so Heather Gino scores again. Well timed, perfectly hit. Scoring off the block for Heather Gino. Close to 10 points. 13 points. 13 points already for Heather Gino. He's the leading scorer right now for FEU. Points has been limited to nine. Basas only with seven this match and these are the two leading scorers who are double digit scorers for FAU this season. Oh wow. Ang laking bagay na naibaba ng Lasal yung efficiency at yung hitting rate ni Pons at itong si Chinchin Basas. More than Pons is has accounted for 215 points in 40 or 100. Tama, 215 in 14 games. Basas Oh, a free 64 in 14 matches. That's for LaSalle. And wow. LaSalle. And yeah. will score again. LaSalle right now in automatic. Uh, Coach Ronnie, they're, they, they're getting whatever they want. Ganda ng passing rhythm. They're seamless right now. FU struggling with their offense. It's only been Hider Gino who's been scoring consistently for them. And now the lead has ballooned to four for De La Salle. Another service error for the Archers. Uh, six service errors. For the Lady Spikers. Coach Remende Jesus lang hinayang siya because they had FEU on their heels. Uh, Kim D leading the way for the Lady Spikers with 10 points in the game. A uh, couple of substitutions for the Lady Tamaraos as Jel Cayuna and Jeremy Malabana check in for Kyle Negrito and the Chin Pasas. Cayuna out of Sabuanga del Norte. Uh, playing in her third season for the Lady Tamaraos. Iningindulo na yung pasang yan sa back row. Domingo. Good counter play by Celine Domingo. Here comes Tiamzon. Picked up by Cayuna. Oh! Domingo with a setting error. And we also saw this type of plays happen to FAU in the clutch, in the second set. Game on the line. Set on the line. You cannot make this type of mistakes. And, because and the Lady Spikers can sense the panic, the smell the blood, uh, going in for the kill. 22 18, a four point lead for the defending champions. Domingo picked up by D. Back row Luna. Air spots for the dig. Domingo again. Luna right back at Domingo. Puts away the over receive. Redeeming herself after an earlier miscue. That's experience, that is maturity. Showing stability amidst pressure. LaSalle still ahead by 22-19. Eight points for Cel Domingo. Matangka din at mahaba itong si Cel Domingo, Celine Domingo. Hernandez back in the game, a service specialist for the Lady Dots. Three-point game. That's outside for Noriel Ipang. Perfect time to shine for Ipa. Unmolested, unmarked. Nice pass by Cobb. Going to the slide play after that. Very fine reception coming from Don Makandili. Miss him. Way too wide. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cobb goes to Tiamzon. A two point game here. 22 20 Lasal. Malabana and Saga is in the game for Kim D. Luna having to readjust to the back row. Attack error. LaSalle uh, with some miscues here. Go Johnny. Now just a one point game. Just when we thought that LaSalle was in cruise control. Once again, FU comes back again. Now the lead is down to one as Tayo comes in for Mitch Cobb. Situational sub for Coach Ramel de Jesus. This young lady on the service line has done really well for FU. 
not the easiest job in the world. That's Ooh. outside for Hernandez. She went for an ace. Allowing Masal to yes. breathe a little easy here. Talk about dodging a bullet. Yeah. Chance to tie. Instead, Lasal with a free point. Closer and closer to another set point. Equivalent to a match point. Player out of South Cotapato, Tim Tiamzon. Akandiri will set it up. Oh, miss you there. Free ball for Lasal Saga. And they go back to Layo. Layo will score. A very smart pass coming from Cop. Nakita niya si Karandang nasa gitna. Directed that pass to the outside spiker who scores against the smaller blocker in Heather Ginoho. Ipak, Luna, the reserves. Getting the job done for De La Salle, helping out KKD, Majoy Baron, and Team Chamzon. It's going to be match point for game number one of these finals for the Lady Spikers. Three match points for De La Salle right now. Layu. FAU saves one. Gino again with a great block. 14 points for Heather Gino. Stellar performance after accounting for only three points in two matches. But like in set number one, FAU's got to be perfect Gino. here. Still two match points for the defending champions. Oh, oh my. Bitter pill to swallow for the FEU Lady Tabarauz as they throw away a chance to trim the deficit and instead allows Masao to coast to the win in a sweep of game number one, three sets to nothing for the defending champions, De La Salle University Lady Spikers against the finalists back after nine years, Far Eastern University uh, Lady Tabarauz. Back here inside the Araneta Coliseum uh, at the end of this sweep by uh, DLSU Lady Spikers against the Far Eastern University Lady Damaraus in game number one of this best of three finals in the Women's Volleyball Tournament of Season 80 of the UAAP. Eric Tipan with Coach Ronnie Maxano and we get a chance to speak to the winning coach, uh, Coach Ramil De Jesus of the De La Salle University Lady Spikers. Congratulations, first of all, Coach Ramil. Now you're able to limit uh, Bernadette Bonds and uh, Chin Chin Basas to single digits in scoring today. Well, how how did you plan for that? And how how much of a key was that uh, for this uh, win against FEU? Well, actually, uh, our game plans uh, to organize our blocking. So, well, uh, nag effective naman. Coach Ramil, ano ang pinakamahirap pagkaharap mo yung kaibigan mo sa kabilang side? At ano ang pinakamahirap na tingin mo na kailangan yung uh, magandaan sa parating na game number two? Well, even uh, sa nakita niyong pinamalas nila dito sa game one. Well, uh, nakita ko siguro uh, mas aggressive yung FEU in terms of attacks. So, may mga times na mahirap basahin yung uh, set play. So, talagang sabi ko sa mga players ko, magkailan natin magsaga na. And isa pa siguro, dahil dating school ko, yun medyo mahirap talaga. <laughs> Coach, Coach Ramil, kaibigan mo yung nasa kabila. At uh, ma malayo at malalim ang pinagsamahan nyo. Nag-uusap ba kayo prior to game one of the series at prior to the start of the finals? Well, actually, walang ganun. So, siguro yung huling kita namin nung uh, game nung uh, Ateneo FEU, uh, Semis, yun lang siguro. Well, thank you very much, Coach Ramil De Jesus. And congratulations. Uh, we'll take a quick break and come back to wrap this game number one up right after these. Welcome back to the Araneta Coliseum. A three set win by De La Salle University Lady Spikers in game number one of the best of three finals against Far Eastern University Lady Tamaraus. We'll go to Eileen Shi with our uh, Gatorade White Lightning player of the game. May, first of all, super congratulations dahil sinabi mo sa akin kanina, first time mo naging player of the game at sa finals pa. Pero balikan natin yung game you guys started slow today. What other aspects do you think you could improve on going to the game two of the finals? Siguro yung pagiging diesel namin na kailangan dapat pag, uh, pagpasok sa court, dapat killer instinct agad na dapat hindi na babalik yung bola, na dapat score. Ganun. And then during the elimination round, May, both of your games against FEU ended in five sets. So what was the key to cutting it down to three today? Siguro yung pagiging consistent ng bawat isa na 
parang mas na, nagiging na minimize namin yung mga error namin tapos nagiging consistent yung mga palo yung defense ganun Thank you, May. Eric and Ronnie, do you have further questions? Yes. Uh, hi, May. Congratulations, Mayang Hapon. Um, you had one point after the first set, uh, but you poured in uh, seven more points in uh, the second and third set. So what was the mindset for you coming into you know, the last two sets of the game? Uh, ano, parang, yeah, no, uh, ibubuhos ko na lahat para sa seniors namin. As in, seniors talaga. Bibigay ko lahat ng best ko kasi uh, wala ko parang Ibibigay ko na lahat kasi ito na yung last chance na makakatulong ako sa team. Mayang, yan ba ang palayaw mo, May? Actually po, may may, pero naging mayang. May. Oh, sige, may may, bihira kang maipasok, hindi mahabang playing time mo. You scored two points and one point in the first two rounds against FEU. But today, hindi ka lang situational sub, kundi naging major player ka para dito sa Lasal sa Game 1 na panalo. Anong nasa isip mo habang mainit kang pumupuntos laban sa depensa ng FAU at talagang maski from the service line you were so hard to stop Siguro iniisip ko na parang hindi ka lang backup plan parang ikaw yung ta pagtatawagin ka ni coach ready ka parang part ka ng team kahit na ano yung role mo kailangan ni embrace mo hindi yung pag wala ka sa loob ng court parang hindi ka na part ng team Ganun. Well said 10 sets first two matches 3 sets game one of the finals Ano pa ang team mo kailangan yung pagkikpigayin at uh, isolve laban sa FAU to sweep this uh, final series? Uh, siguro yung ipupush pa namin yung sarili namin na mas maging consistent talaga sa, ba sa bawat puntos na um, ibibigay namin. Thank you, Maymay. Well, thank you very much. Now, as uh, a bonus, being the best player of the Yun. game, oh, may gusto bang batiin? Um, first of all, thank you kay Lord. Kay Lord. Um, thank you po sa... Um, family ko na, na sumasuporta sa Taguma at sa Davao. Hello po sa mga friends, sa mga supporters po ng Lasal. And hi, Tashka! The series opener showed tremendous fight among both sides. But it was the two-time defending champions, capitalizing on their championship experience in 11 total blocks who drew first blood. DLSU's balance attack saw four players scored eight or more points. FEO, on the other hand, were not used in playing in these pressure pack moments that led to 34 total errors. With starter and Season 79 Finals MVP Tess Cheng playing her, Coach Ramil relied on reserve May Luna to pick up the slack. She finished with 9 points, built on 7 attacks and 2 service aces. Her stepping up when needed speaks to how deep, talented, and well-coached this team is.